here we are again, finding ourselves on a delightful new day. One where the education sun in Britain is so nice that well, Tuesday was having a lovely little nap out there on the on a blanket. So was this eldritch abomination. But still, trying to learn the best uh, that there is to give, while also being somewhat under scrutiny by everyone else, she say might possibly find her place to be, considering she hasn't had the best of education. But seeing her upbringing, seeing how she is now, doesn't it warm your heart? What exactly could go wrong? What can get brought up? What kind of mysteries are there? Oh, that's right. She was abducted at the end of the last episode. So let's see what this mist is. Actually, just trying to have a nice day and a talk with one of your kind of friends, neighbours, and the like. You not allowed. We're here on another adventure. Whether nice or not. Well, God test if it's. Got to test if it's uh, salty or not. Is actually the sea, and she wasn't invited. She's. She's been waiting. Why does she feel familiar? Demon of the sea. Rahab would be uh, fine. Uh, don't be fine. She'll be wandering the fog. Yeah, that's not terrifying. Being lost alone, not understanding what the hell's going on. Hmm. Okay. And how much is she keeping an eye? Her, her net of people that she's been introduced to is expanding amazingly. And what a question to, to answer. What exactly is she? Where does she currently see herself, to be fair? Good. Do you think that uh, when it comes to mages and the like, keeping a schedule is somewhat difficult? If someone can cool you away like this, granted they might be quite powerful or... Uh, or whatnot, but uh, and more than likely, no, not any kind of normal person would really have these kind of encounters. But probably once or twice in a while, someone just has their day inexplicably ruined. Imagine trying to plan a nice day out, and suddenly you're in the sea. Probably one of the least surprising things about being a mage, though. Hmm. As long as she's back for school at the right time. What a saying. You know, the cow doesn't make a monk. I wonder in what terms that is actually used in this episode. What about, uh, 
Let's see. Once they figure out what's actually gone on there, what do they, what would they say? In fact, he gave it away to her so nonchalantly. She's a special case. Exactly what it is about her that, uh, has garnered his attention so thoroughly. Uh, mm -hmm. A little to take in, considering what he is and what not. Does he know what it means to take a bride? Or is she going to try and cool it off? Useful. Is being closer to being human uh, good for him? Hmm. You know, trying to actually be pleasant. Yeah, sure. Give a name. I don't think the English are quite so adverse to being on uh, first name terms with anyone. As Japanese honorifics and the like and known for. Plus, old style cabin, moss roof, firewood. Seems like a like, nice little a pleasant life, especially if the time is held differently here. It feels so familiar. I mean, the, ah, oh, I thought she was going to say grandparents. <laughs> and how long has she lived, considering time stands uh, differently here? How much is a while? Do we still get years? I like that description. Disjointed yet intertwined with every where and every when. It's also confusing. And we saw the attire that everyone was wearing there, so seeing it's taken na until now, really, for him to take in Chisei and truly want to properly learn or even start to feel it for himself. They're an enigmatic set of beings, aren't they? How things could have easily changed with a few uh, events and pushes. They do say imitation is the best form of flattery, but rather than just going through the motions, would be better if it was more learned than imi imitation.
He's he began his journey really for self fulfillment and learning. How? Why didn't she ever try to reach out and talk to him at all? If this place is connected to everything. There was pain in that expression. He's definitely got that now, hasn't he? Whether it by blood or not, the fact he's built up this little little family, even if you can't put it straight on a on a tree. Somewhat difficult to uh, to pin down there, but uh, hmm. I mean, some people do see it that way. The, the definitions and changes are so confusing, they're so malleable and yet also distinct. I, I see why it's difficult for him. Yeah, it doesn't seem it. She had such a tough time. But hearing it from her, who taught him kind of what it means, is he sees exactly from his point what he was trying to ascertain. Yeah. Hmm. I guess for him worrying about it, trying to figure out her mind and as to why she's diving in headfirst. Although that might be slowly changing. Her own self value is very skewed. To be fair, being sold off as a slave, one would do that to someone. The fact that he is <laughs> giving it to her. should tip her off a little about how much value he puts in her if it's on the same as that of the bolus but I think we do need a little more slightly perturbed Elias just how Dear, he holds her to him. It's nice to see if he doesn't quite understand it himself. She just needs to hear it a bit now. And they kind of yearn for their time together. It's just a feeling you get, right? That's what a wife does, isn't it? To be fair, he's getting more human by the day. The fact he can experience these things
But there are some things that he is very attached to. <laughs> She knows exactly how to, uh, how to say the right things, how to endear herself into people, doesn't she? Doesn't she? If, if there are more people like her extending a hand and actually giving decent advice, even to potential monsters. He could do worse. Or well, next time, give us some warning, please. Yeah, people might not like to hear they're being watched in secret. This is different. <laughs> it's no lie if you just avoid telling the truth. Ah, not lost in the fog anymore. It, it was so thick, I know, it's hard to see or do anything. Well, Stella, did you enjoy your evening with uh, Chise there? I'm sure you talked about a lot. Is she distilling the very essence of potpourri? Not everything goes in the bin, though. Was well, he gonna be gonna be late? Careful with his wording. It's, it'd be good to find fast ways to travel. If your guide is late, then... Ah, Santa. Everyone has their own mission uh, issues. Even if you are quite a question. Hey. I'm sure that gets... Uh, out of use. What's Her Majesty's telephone box doing out here in the forest? She was warned. Are you sure these back passages are really all that safe? Do you have a compass? A map, even? So is it... Can they at least light the place up a little? Can you... come across other people while... Uh, while travelling? The denizens of this place. What 
Well, pet the puppies and uh, be on your way. Well, as long as you keep keep the place clean. Good thing they have a translator. Are, are they using their tongue as like a proboscis? That's kind of cool, but creepy. Well, what a useful skill. Uh, a peace offering. Uh, that's your ticket to ride to be here. If they have to do that every time, maybe uh, maybe they won't tr run late anymore. What? So at any point they could take away the good graces they've given you as the journey and trip here. Now for another day back at school. So many talks about families and brides and weddings, what it's like to be a partner. Is this really the place to discuss this? Right before school? Uh, safety earmuffs. <laughs> Hanging around paper making. What are we getting into news? Hanging around the help nurses place. What is going on? Or having to take over the family's uh, news printing. She has a inescapable fear of paper or the printed word. Maybe it's just hard work that she's terrified of. I do want to know a little bit more about her as a character. She's not quite as brash and abrasive as kind of the first introduction. Remember, she even though she was woken rudely and hit in the face, she tried still tried to be courteous in a way. We've got. We, we, we've got a story that would be a small group of friends that she's making here and how they impact on her life, even if they have their own issues and worries. And own very peculiar uh, actions and antics. I'm, I'd be surprised if anyone is out and out evil in this story though. Still, having a nice little chat and a tea w with your abductor, even if it is someone that was somewhat close to Elias throughout all of this and his growth and upbringing, we saw him in various stages of development there and talking to her. I would like to know just how long they actually spent together. And Oh, so like any of the 
overprotective grandparent type figures. Of course, yeah. Keep tracks of him, keeps tabs, spy on his every movement, see how he's getting on. Is he causing trouble for anyone or himself? Ancient Megas Bride is a show which is slightly different to most things. I mean, it's somewhat psychological thriller fantasy shit, but at the heart of it, nah, it's mostly just nice and pleasant. Have a little spiritual story and romance, slightly. Understanding what it means to be human, both from a side of a mythical creature who knows nothing of emotions and one who has lost a will to be part of it. But I am so curious as to what her words meant, the parting words after she left the Foglands. How that's going to impact and play out throughout the, throughout the story. And just how many distorted warped places are there if we've got this timeless, separate from everywhere and every when fog cabin, as well as the wall tunnels that bend space time to arrive where you need to be at much faster times, how many more places between the cracks can she slip? How many are left undiscovered for the world? And kind of like those hounds that had a contract with him, how many things out there that could be possibly malevolent actually holding somewhat of a knife's edge little contract? where things could easily go awry so easily and just kept it in the balance. We've seen like Joseph, for example, such a example of singular thinking, how he is, uh, you know, out for his own good. Getting a bit of backstory in life and what shown to us. Slightly bit of understanding if you can't really get behind a lot of his actions. Some things being shown off like well, like Elias, having this force of nature one to be terrified of, but actually trying his best to be normal. Maybe it's the totally calm, friendly ones you really have to be scared of. And thinking of that, considering somehow some of the students that it's actually showing off and their personalities. There are definitely some that seem that like there's more going on under the hood. And I don't think it's the ones that are being... visiting the, the, the school nurse. And it gets brought up a few times, but she says own identity, what she thinks of herself, her own value, and how much she's impacting those around her. Like when the, the one collapsed and fainted in front of her, trying her best, just trying to help out, giving her some nice uh, infused teas, even if it's gone kind of unappreciated or... Which is very, very paranoid about what things contain. But she's still trying the trying the darndest to, to help. I think once we actually get back to school and some of the, the the other students and how they see her and these worries that some of them are having, how it's gonna be ironed out and possibly even solved over time. That's one thing she says is good at. With with enough time she can calm anyone. Really kind of bring them around to uh, onto her side. Mainly through self-sacrifice, as we've mentioned so many, so many times. Hopefully it won't be needed again. But that was Ancient Magus Bride. I am so damn warm now, my brain is melting. I've gone dizzy. So I'm going to take a rest. If you enjoyed this one, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. Consider subscribing. If I could do away with my car and walk the dark, dank tunnels with this, some ravenous dog beasts around. Actually, I might consider that. You have to pay less in fuel, so. I'll see you in the next one.